Hey everybody, welcome back. And this is part one of working with numbers in the operators and methods unit. So here's where the video for this will go. A uh, quick refresher. There's one number type in JavaScript, it's called number. Uh, it can be positive, negative, integer, decimal, doesn't really matter. Um, you also have a couple of symbolic values, plus infinity, negative infinity, and not a number. Uh, plus infinity and negative infinity are good tools for certain situations. Uh, not a number is something you usually get by accident. and uh, certain things like trying to add undefined to a number, the result of that will be not a number. Um, but anyway, let's talk about addition. So one of the first operators we're going to talk about is the addition operator. Here is a very quick example. And there's the code from last time. So variable sum is equal to 3 plus 4. Then we're going to log sum to the console. Deep, fascinating stuff here. But anyway, this is the plus operator. It adds two numbers together. Uh, provided that they are numbers. We're actually going to find out later that if one of these is uh, a string, then it tends to complicate the situation. But for now, let's consider that we're only going to be working with numbers. So in order to provide a real-world example, here is two variables. One is the number of apples, three. Another is the number of bananas. And we're going to create a third variable called total fruit and assign it to the result of adding number of apples plus number of bananas. If we then log total fruit to the console, we'll see that we again have seven because that's what 3 plus 4 is. So, let's jump to the addition coding challenge. We're going to complete a function that takes in two number parameters and returns their sum when added together. Your function should create a variable and assign it to the result of adding the two input parameters using the plus operator, then return that variable. Below is an example of the code running, assuming that you will have completed the function getSum. So, we're going to take our function stub, put it in the REPL, grab the test case, which in this case is just one, which gives us the result sum equal to a call to get sum with four and 10. The result should be 14. So if we look at this, they want us to create a result variable and assign it to num1 added together with num2. So we'll do that rather simply with num1 plus num2. Come down here and return the result variable. If we run this, we're gonna see that the 14 is the result. So it works in at least one scenario. We're gonna copy and paste it back into the input window to make sure that it passes all of the automated tests. And we are in good shape. Ah, it's losing some of the luster. Perhaps next video there'll be some other kind of shape that we are in. Excellent shape. There we go. We're in excellent shape. So uh, quick videos. There's going to be a lot of these in the working with numbers section. Uh, follow along if you need to, or else just do the exercises. And we'll, um, sorry, hope you like this video, and we'll see you in the next one.